Let's now, uh, 743 right now. Several issues are obviously heating up in Congress right now, and we welcome Representative Colleen Harbusa to the Wake Up to Today studios. And I, I, if you don't mind, I'd like to start with something that's actually affecting my son, uh, but it's also affecting 7 million students mm -hmm. across America. And we're talking about uh, interest rates that will be essentially doubling today without an extension. You know, I, I think that the anticipation is that it will not double, that okay. they'll do a bill retroactive, so it'll go down to, it's supposed to be some, uh, about 6.8, so right. go down to 3.4, and it's anticipated that, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do something long-term. As you know, with the Pell Grants, we were able to take that to about 2021, mm -hmm. but the, the Stafford Loans, which is what is at issue here, will probably go for a year, and hopefully in that year's time, Congress will be able to to figure out a more permanent fix on that. Yeah, because I mean, for any college student or even their families, that's mm -hmm. a tough blow, but we saw it coming, but it's something yeah. that can't be long term, like you said. You know, and the problem is that a lot of it is how you pencil it out. Right. So I think that uh, we got to figure out a way to pay for that lower interest rate. But we do know that if we're going to be a competitive nation, we got to encourage that education and we've got to help the students get that education that they need. Okay. Switching gears a little bit with you, uh, immigration is and also a very mm -hmm. touchy issue, but also a very important subject that the president and everybody in Congress are addressing as well. No question immigration reform has to happen. The Senate passed their version. The House leadership is sounding like what they're going to do is, I mean, break up the bill. And the idea is to get it all to conference at some point. But I, I also do know that different caucuses within the, the Democratic side, mm -hmm. for example, and the, and the House of Representatives, one in particular, uh, one that I belong to, is going to offer the Senate bill. So we're hoping that uh, it'll be offered. We don't know if the Republicans will actually put it to the floor for a vote, but we do know that they're planning at least four different bills, which breaks it up and unfortunately we think is going to, of course, substantially weaken the immigration bill. Which, which leads me to my follow-up question. What's the temperature gauge on the Republicans' response to what could be before them soon? Well, you know, we, we think that the Republicans feel that they need to pass immigration, and, and it is an issue for them for 20, 2016, is really what it comes down to. But they're still having a difficult time, I believe, in the concept of a pathway to citizenship. That's where there, many of them are stuck. We're hoping that something will happen. The, the ones in the Senate saw the light, and we're hoping that the ones in the House will as well. But it's always been more difficult for them. I'm going to switch gears on you and maybe throw you a curveball if you don't mind, but can you comment at all on what's happening with the, the, Eric Snowden? You know, it's the last, I, I probably know as much as you do, right. so it's the evolving. last, that's right, it's evolving. And the last that I heard is that Ecuador, I guess, has offered him the appropriate paperwork, but now Russia is not releasing him. Right. So where that all is, I don't know. But I think that there's a general sense uh, among many that, that they feel that he should come back to the United States and, and face charges and have this due process within the United States. I mean, you know, it, it is a matter of what happened. People need to understand. And unless someone is there to explain, himself explain what happened, I don't think we'll ever under, we'll really get the true story. But right now, all I know is what you know, which right. is he's in limbo somewhere. And even, even that has changed. Vladimir Putin said to, uh, this morning, you, you can stay in, in, in Moscow, you can stay in Russia, but stop leaking all of this information. It is, like you said, it's fluid, yeah. it's evolving. Right. Uh, last week, landmark decisions made mm -hmm. by the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, affecting a lot of uh, millions of folks across America. Just your comment on, on DOMA and also Prop 8. Well, you know, DOMA, as we, we spoke the last time, it's, you know, I think that the, the, both Prop 8 and DOMA, the decisions were correct. The DOMA decision, however, is not quite complete yet because we have offered in the House, uh, and I've co-sponsored it, is to take out Section 2, to, to repeal Section Section 2, which is to allow states to also recognize uh, the other states. If another state recognizes a same-sex marriage, then the other states gives it basically the due respect that it should. So I think that we're, we'll start to see different different situations arise. Proposition 8 was unique to California mm -hmm. and that basically what it did was it went out on standing as we discussed so it, it, it has an impact on California and, and from about, I think a month from now California will be issuing licenses like they were before. So I think that it's uh, it shows you the trend, it shows you where America is going, it also shows you that uh, we've evolved as a society as we should and and this is a civil rights issue and I think that uh, we hope to see that this continues throughout the nation. 
Congressman, always a pleasure to see you. What's your Good first stop you. when you come home? I know it's, it's might, might be food related. I know it's food related. <laughs> it always it is. Always is right? It always is. It always is food related. Oh, uh. my, 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 my <laughs> local food. Thank you very much. Have a have a wonderful time back home. Thank you very much.